In times like these, we're all looking to become a more self-sufficient gardener. Now, to be more self-sufficient, we need to be growing things that are not only packed with nutrients, but are full of fiber and will keep us filled and have a really good caloric density. Sweet potatoes, on the other hand, have a good amount of calories, they have a good amount of fiber, they have protein, and they're gonna keep you full for longer. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to start sweet potatoes quick and easy because they do have a long growing season, but if you follow these instructions, even up north, you'll be able to get a great sweet potato harvest this year. Sweet potatoes are not grown like regular potatoes, at least not reliably. You can't just stick them in the ground like potatoes and have a nice bushy plant come out and give you all kinds of potatoes. Sweet potatoes are not actually even related to potatoes. They're actually in the morning glory family, believe it or not. And sweet potatoes are grown from slips or rooted sprouts. Now, slips are... <laughs> pretty expensive to buy. And actually right now, especially, they're pretty difficult to find. But if you have an organic sweet potato from the grocery store, I'm gonna show you how to make your own slips. So the first thing we have to know is what is the top and what is the bottom of a sweet potato? So typically on a sweet potato, there's a fat end and a pointy end. The pointy end is the top, think of it pointing north, and the fatter end is the bottom. Now, the typical way of getting slips is you would put three toothpicks around the sweet potato, put it in a glass of water with just the very bottom touching the water. And roots are going to form down here, and sprouts are going to form up here. After your sprouts are about eight inches tall, you would snap them off and then root them in a glass of water. Now, this to get some good enough slips, it's gonna take possibly up to two months. And then another maybe two to three weeks to root the slips. So we're talking about six months to actually from start to finish. Now, we've already lost about 100 days because we're in the end of March. So now that leaves us with a harvest probably sometime in October. Now. Even here, where we have a pretty mild climate, when you're getting to October, you're getting to be a little bit cooler, and sweet potatoes like it warm. So we need to either start earlier or find a way to shave some time off that process. Now, if you have a time machine, awesome. Hop in, go back to January. If you don't, we're gonna shave some time off. And I've got Noah here to actually help me with that. Hi, guys. So the first thing we need to do is, and buying organic will help with this process because what happens in a grocery store, did you know this? They spray sweet potatoes with something that keeps them from sprouting. Really? So they last longer in the bins at the store and at your house. Now buying organic will help with that. They probably, well, they shouldn't be sprayed if they're organic, but sometimes they are slow to sprout anyway. Either way, I found a blog online. I'm gonna link it down below because I want her to get the credit for this. But she did a couple of experiments on soaking sweet potatoes in ascorbic acid or vitamin C. What's ascorbic acid? Vitamin C. Oh. <laughs> so we're gonna try that. Um, anything we can do, and she, she swears by it, so we're gonna give it a try. So we're gonna start with two 1,000 milligram tablets of vitamin C, like that and I've got a cup and a half of water. So go ahead and put that in there. Blop, blop. Whoa. And we're gonna blend it up. So go ahead and do that. Oh. Okay, stop. All right, so we're gonna put this into a cup. You can actually, you can lay it flat if you have a small dish, maybe a lot, maybe a bread pan. Um, I'm gonna put it in this other cup here and try to cover as much of it as possible. And it's okay if you still have a few chunks. Now we're gonna let this soak for 15 minutes. Be right back. 
All right, it's been 15 minutes, so we're gonna remove the sweet potato. Okay. And now we're gonna do the toothpick thing. So you wanna try this? I don't know yeah. how difficult it's gonna be. But about, you wanna put the toothpicks in, three different toothpicks, you know, all the way around, and about halfway down the length of the sweet potato. Like so straight in right there. That's good, that's good. Okay. Okay. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna like? We're gonna put it in the cup. Oh, so it holds it up. Okay. Yep. Probably right on that black dot there. Good, good, good. And one more. Right there. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna put it in the cup and we're gonna fill it about halfway up the, the potato. So right under the um, Toothpick. uh, toothpicks. We're gonna keep that level consistent throughout the next month or two. Um, so what's gonna happen, and this is what, where it gets sped up. Sprouts are gonna come below the water level and then grow up out of the water and start to produce leaves. At the same time, because the sprouts are underwater, they're gonna start rooting underwater where they're coming out of the potato. So almost right by the potato, you're gonna see roots and sprouts coming out. Um, this is actually better than growing the, the slips and then breaking them off and then rooting them, not only because it's faster, but you're gonna get a stronger root system because they're still attached to the potato drawing nutrients, drawing energy from the potato to produce the roots. Now, one thing that will happen is you're gonna get sprouts as well above the water line. And those sprouts will probably be less vigorous. And so what you could do at that point is right here above the toothpicks, you could actually cut this potato off, take it and put it in another cup of water uh, where the sprouts are then under the water and they're gonna start growing and producing roots as well. So basically you're killing two birds with one stone. You're getting the roots and the sprouts at the same time. And hopefully the vitamin C treatment will speed up the process even more. So that was pretty simple, right? Yeah. Um, so get this started as soon as possible. And then in a couple of months, we'll all plant them out together. I'm gonna to be growing mine in containers, so that's gonna be fun and interesting. But you can also grow them in the ground too. That's your choice. And be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the post notification bell, and hit the like button, and follow my dad on Instagram. It'll be right up there for you guys. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. See ya.